New York City's skyline is iconic, with architectural marvels that make the city instantly recognizable around the world. Underlying the city's landmarks and architectural achievements, however, is a deep history of contributions by immigrant architects. From the early 1800s and into the 1900s, architects from around the world came to New York and profoundly shaped the buildings, infrastructure, and overall look and feel of the city. Despite facing immense challenges as immigrants in a new country, these architects played essential roles in designing landmarks like the Brooklyn Bridge, Flatiron Building, Metropolitan Museum of Art, Grand Central Terminal, Chrysler Building, Empire State Building, and many more. Their technical innovations and cultural influences transformed the NYC landscape. This is how immigrants built New York City through their visionary architectural feats. New York City was a major port of entry for immigrants since colonial times. Its location along the Atlantic coast and status as a British colony made it an ideal destination for European immigrants sailing across the ocean in the 17th and 18th centuries. Groups such as the Dutch, British, Germans and Irish established communities in New York during its early years. By the 19th century, New York's population exploded with new waves of immigrants arriving through Ellis Island and other ports. Many were fleeing poverty, persecution and unrest in Europe and Asia. Major immigrant groups in the 19th and early 20th centuries included Italians, Eastern European Jews, Chinese, Greeks, Poles, Russians, and Puerto Ricans. By 1910, nearly 80% of NYC's population consisted of either immigrants or children of immigrants. New York's tradition as a city built by immigrants persists today. Over 3 million foreign-born residents currently call NYC home. The city's dynamic mix of cultures, foods, neighborhoods, and languages continues to be shaped by its immigrants. Even in colonial times, NYC was a diverse melting pot and a major point of entry that welcomed those pursuing the American dream. New York City experienced a massive construction boom that gave rise to some of the city's most iconic skyscrapers and architectural landmarks. This was fueled by incredible population growth, commercial expansion, and innovations in building technology like steel frame construction and the elevator. Grand civic structures like the Grand Central Terminal, the New York Public Library, and the Brooklyn Bridge were constructed. Emerging companies built towering new headquarters, such as the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company Tower, the Woolworth Building, and the Chrysler Building. Luxury hotels and retail palaces like the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and Macy's Herald Square Store became monuments of commerce. The city's distinctive row houses, tenements, and apartment blocks came to house millions of new residents and families. This building boom was made possible by the creativity and skill of immigrant architects. One landmark that defines the New York City skyline is the Brooklyn Bridge, designed by German immigrant John Augustus Roebling. Roebling pioneered the use of steel suspension cables, allowing the construction of unprecedented lengthy suspension bridges. His vision and technical innovations are what made the Brooklyn Bridge possible when it was completed in 1883. The famous Flatiron Building was designed by Chicago architect Daniel Burnham, born to immigrant parents from Ireland and Canada. Burnham cleverly maximized the small triangular lot to create an iconic slender tower that seemed to defy gravity when viewed head-on. The unique shape of the Flatiron Building came to symbolize Old New York. Charles Fallon McKim, an American architect born to immigrant parents from Scotland, was instrumental in establishing the Beaux-Arts architectural style in New York. His most famous designs include the Morgan Library and Museum and the main campus of Columbia University. McKim's European-inspired aesthetic left an indelible mark on NYC. The prolific Spanish architect Rafael Guastavino also contributed his unique vaulting architectural style. 
Guastavino immigrated to America in 1881 and patented a tile-based vaulting system that allowed large, self-supporting arches and intricate ceilings. His Guastavino tile can be seen in famous Beaux-Arts landmarks like Grand Central Station, Carnegie Hall, and the Oyster Bar. The soaring tiled vault in the Oyster Bar remains a breathtaking sight. One standout immigrant architect was Cass Gilbert, originally from Minnesota. Gilbert moved to New York City in 1899 and made a name for himself with grand civic structures like the U.S. Custom House and the Woolworth Building. William LeBaron Jenny, an architect born in England, designed the first skyscraper supported by a steel skeleton. This new structural system enabled buildings to stand taller than ever before, free from the constraints of heavy masonry. Jenny's steel frames formed the backbone of early skyscrapers like the Home Insurance Building and ushered in a new era of high-rise architecture. Equally transformative was the invention of safe passenger elevators by Elisha Otis, the son of Canadian immigrants. Elevators made upper floors of high-rises easily accessible, opening up new possibilities for skyscraper design. No longer were architects limited to short buildings that people could reasonably walk up. Elevators transported residents and workers high into the sky. Later, visionary architects like Eero Saarinen used elevator technology to maximize space and efficiency in skyscrapers. Saarinen, who immigrated from Finland, designed the tapered shape of the CBS building around a core of elevators and infrastructure. This innovative layout became a model for skyscrapers, demonstrating how elevators could shape both form and function. Immigrant architects were instrumental in solving the technical challenges that allowed New York City's skyline to reach unprecedented heights. Their innovative solutions overcame obstacles and unlocked the potential for modern skyscrapers. The mesmerizing New York City skyline owes its grandeur to the brilliance and problem-solving acumen of immigrant architects. Their contributions, from introducing steel frame construction to revolutionizing elevator technology, have forever changed the city's vertical landscape. These visionary individuals pushed boundaries, defied limitations, and reshaped the possibilities of modern architecture. As we admire the majestic skyscrapers that grace the horizon, let us remember the creative problem-solving and unwavering determination of the immigrant architects who paved the way for a truly iconic skyline. Thank you for watching and join me next time.